last night on The Bachelorette season premiere. We're getting out! Yes, we have made it out of the dreaded Bachelor off-season, and welcome everyone to a brand new season of The Bachelorette and Bachelorette Recaps, where any memory of The Bachelor season 25 is just a bad dream from a long time ago. No, NM, this was a real, truly live place. And I remember that some of it wasn't very nice. There was bullying and toxicity, and Katie was there, and Tasha was there, and all sorts of cast members are coming back this season. But it wasn't a dream. It was a place. And you, and you, and you, and you were there. And night one of Katie's journey as the Bachelorette is jam-packed with stuff to talk about, like new hosts, a dude who sells skin out of his RV, the first furry contestant on the Bachelorette, and of course, a whole lot of the Bachelor producers telling us stuff like, this season's gonna be S-E-X positive. <laughs> she did not. She did not. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to dish out my top four, top two, and final pick for Katie's season. But to get there, we need to start this night one, which begins with a reintroduction of Katie, giving us an overview of her life growing up poor, with divorced parents, and moving from school to school, making it hard to find friends. Basically, we learn more about Katie in two minutes than we did in all of Matt James's season. But it is important to have this as it establishes a reason for us to, you know, root for Katie as she meets the men. And speaking of, we then get intro packages filling us in on some of those guys, like musical math teacher guy with a deep dark furry secret, Carl the motivational speaker, Brendan Canada's yearly representative, there's Andrew S who has my favorite intro package for three reasons. One, I love a good grandma shot. Oh, okay, well that was said goodbye, God bless. Okay. Two, he's doing the Carlton. And three, the man's watching Bridgerton. Truly, truly, burn for you. I burn for you. We get yet another virgin storyline, art guy, harmonica guy who we'll later find out has balls, and the guy whose intro package screams, production is grooming me to be the next Bachelor as long as I don't screw it up. But enough of that, let's now get into the night and, uh, have Katie awkwardly stand around for a while? Oh, oh, they're doing a prank thing. <laughs> okay. Well, after that, Katie, who's looking very nervous, heads inside to get the down low on being the Bachelorette from Taisha and Caitlyn. And one thing I really like about these two as hosts throughout this episode is that they look like they're having a lot of fun. I don't know what kind of relationship they actually have with Katie, but frankly, I don't think they need one to genuinely enjoy watching Katie go through this, because both of them have been in Katie's shoes. So seeing Katie meet her guys and chomping down on a bunch of popcorn is a good time for them. And I thought that was fun to watch. But alright, after a pep talk and a bit of advice on being the lead from Tay and Kay, it's time. This is it. With that said, oh my gosh. let the journey begin. The limos arrive, and the first one to come out and meet Katie is Thomas. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very good. You look beautiful. Thank you. My name's Thomas. And like most seasons, the first few limo entrances are serious. A nice comment, a hug, and no real gimmick. And also, I always note the first guy out of the limo as it's often someone production thinks will be a hit. The first and last guy especially. We then get Aaron, Andrew M, and David, all with completely normal introductions that involve no strange outfits, no hired entourage, and no gimmicks. Well, unless you count shoes with no socks as a costume choice. And I mean, I'm all for the nice soft entrances, but come on, give me the cringe. This watch has been in my family for about 200 years. Okay. So don't lose it. 
Oh, wow. I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> I'm not a creep. I got that at the airport. All right, you've got an entire team of production staff happy to go out and find you props, and you choose watch from the airport. Also, I'm not creepy, by the way. <sighs> All right, who's next? Bazinga. By the way, told ya, Trey's got balls. After that, they bring out Caitlyn and Tasha to reset the mood, see how Katie's doing, and then bring out another limo. Because at this point, the show really wants to sort of reset from the quirky fun time with Trey and his balls and present us something serious. More specifically, someone they don't want us to feel goofy about, someone they want us to instinctively like. Hi. Hello, Katie. <laughs> How are you? I hope I'm not the only one that's really nervous right oh. now. This is Greg, the Bachelor intro package guy. And this palette cleansing move is one of the ways in which Greg is getting a really good night one edit. They're planting the little seeds in our mind that he's someone to watch out for. And check out the music shift too. I just keep saying you're just a girl <laughs> that I would go up to at a bar and I'm just really excited to see where this goes. After Greg, we then move on into an intro montage, where we roll through guy after guy because there's only two hours in an episode and we can't be here all night. That is, until... Oh my. Hey, Hi. Hello, my love. What's your name? I'm Andrew. Andrew. Nice nice I'm traveling all the way across the pond to be here with you tonight. It's Grandma Carlton Guy, and he's from England? Nice to meet you. I'm actually from Chicago. But... I knew it! I knew it! Bazinga. Okay, but if you thought that was a bold move, well, get ready. I am actually gonna be brief here. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh. What is that? Is that a jock strap? This man needs to be stopped. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. They say home's where the heart is. Okay. I drove my home here from Jersey. Wait, 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 wait. Surgical skin salesman? I am both extremely curious and horribly afraid all at once. And then, there's the box. Oh, is this a present? <laughs> oh my, it's huge. Wait, I know who that is. You're not fooling anyone, Chris Harrison. My name's James, and I wanted to make sure I was present for you tonight, but there is a catch. If you want to open your gift, you have to come find me inside. Really hope James has air conditioning in that box, otherwise I wouldn't open that thing if I were you, Katie. Oh, and uh, yeah, this dude's not coming out. Not even for the toast later. He's gonna stay in that thing for hours, leaving Katie like... What's in the box? Not to give me the What's gun. in the f***ing box? Cody then comes out and confesses to Katie that he's on the show with a girlfriend already, and her name is Sandy. All right, we're gonna pause here because this is actually a really important shot if you're trying to sleuth out a season, because if you look really closely, you can see that Cody has no chance. Um, we've been intimate. Okay, nobody touch the doll. Courtney with a Q here comes out and dials up the heat. <laughs> and then there's Connor B. This man really came out here thinking the best way to introduce himself was like this. Well, let's see what you got, Cat Guy Connor. Hit us with your best shot. I was hoping that this uh, would make you want to ask me out. I think it's perfect. Luckily for Connor, Katie's a huge cat lover, and she loves this huge cat getup. Also, Cat Guy Connor is the last one out of the limos, so he must have something going for him beyond the furry exterior. But alright, with the limo entrances done, the guys start to size each other up. Well, except for Boxman, and... What about the bathroom? What does Box Guy do when he needs to go? Cause these night ones take a long time to film. Is there like... like a bottle in there or something? Uh... Anyways, finally Katie comes in and gives a toast to the journey ahead, and we can start the mingling. First up for the sit-downs is Andrew S. And I can tell you one thing for sure, Katie likes this guy. Why? Cause she says this. Still nervous? Are you? <laughs> okay, 
I will say, I was pretty nervous night one, too. And that's probably why my British accent was bad, because... No, it was really good. Really? When I was in kindergarten, I made my mom a clay bowl that she also said was really good, but I'm pretty sure she only said that because she didn't want to hurt my feelings. So, yeah, I think Katie likes the guy. And from here, each of the men get their turn trying to impress Katie. They play hockey with her, they give her personalized gifts, this guy shows her his rock collection. This is Howlite. Okay. This is Sodalite. Love it. This is Pyrite. Very nice. Okay. Then we get Greg. And before Greg's sit down with Katie comes on, they throw in this little clip. But some of the guys I'm getting to know and, and start to like are kind of shy. And I'm starting to wonder, okay, well, Maybe opposites do attract. Which is a perfect layup for getting us primed to like Greg. Cause that's the sort of vibe Greg is giving out in this first sit down. Shy, nervous, and sweet. He also gives Katie a necklace made by his three year old niece. Oh my god! Well, she's three, I'm not... <laughs> that is so cute! It's, it's not real gold. Really goes to show you that it doesn't always matter if you have actual gems or a necklace made out of pasta, it's all about how you present it. Speaking of another man who nails the presentation, it's Justin. Remember Art Guy? Well, he's coming in hot with a painting for Katie. And he's left the middle blank so that once he gets the final rose, they can fill it in with that. He also goes in for a first steamy kiss. Sharing that first kiss with Katie was incredible. Naturally then, as the night goes on, the first impression rose is brought out to get the guys sweating and motivate them to up their game. Like with Jeff here, who's deciding he's now gonna give Katie a tour of his RV, and Jeff, I... I really wanna like this guy, I really do, but the dude's job title just threw me. Skin salesman? Uh, what? And I know, that job is probably really important, like for medical procedures, and he's probably doing something that helps people in a major way, and I love that. I do. But when you say stuff like this... Normally you shouldn't go in vans with strangers, but That's... you know, tonight's just a little different. It's not helping your case. Oh, also this. Wow. There. Oh, thank I you. I promise you, it's just iced tea. And also this. Oh, Let oh. me move all this over. Oh my gosh. Trust me, this is the cleanest you'll ever see it. Okay. Then he eats celery while they're talking. Also, this is literally the RV from Breaking Bad. Why didn't you lead with that, Jeff? I don't like you, bro. Like, I've never liked you, and that's fine. We don't have to talk at all, right? right? And it's not my fault I don't like you. I'm sorry, what? Did I, did I miss something? Did I come back late from a commercial break, or did they just throw in a clip out of nowhere with Aaron beefing on Cody for no reason at all? Seriously, that's how it aired. After the RV, the dudes talk about the first impression rose, and then wham. I don't like you, bro. Like, I've never liked you. Like, is he drunk? Is this some weird editing? What's going on? Lighten <laughs> up, it's a party, man. <laughs> okay, so it's been a few hours, and it's finally time for the unboxing. And I'm really hoping someone poked air holes in that, or this episode is about to get very dark. I'm looking for the bachelorette. And there he is, just some dude. Cool. This is James, and he and Katie finally get a chance to sit down and talk. We're good. We're, We're here, good. all right. <laughs> How, can I get a hug? I, yeah, I haven't sorry. even got a hug. I'm sorry, if you just spent hours wearing a three-piece suit inside of a box in New Mexico and ask for a hug, my answer is going to be... Hug? No. Well, all right, let's transition now from Boxman to Catman, who spends a little time recreating his favorite scene from Big with Katie before they sit down and Katie confesses that she can't get Cat Guy out of her mind. I couldn't stop thinking about you. <laughs> Honestly, I was hey. like, I need to see him. Oh, really? Yeah. And Catman Connor is obviously very sweet and has a sense of humor that matches Katie's, but does he have the bold confidence to go in for the kiss? Yes, the answer is yes. Wow, who knew someone coming in like, Oh, I'm a cat. I'm a sexy cat. Would end up working so, so well. I think he's a genius. So Connor is feline amazing, and he's hoping he's made a great first impression. It would blow my mind a little bit if I got the first impression rose. Wow. 
She's awesome. Watch Guy Michael then finishes off the evening by introducing Katie to his fur baby Tommy, the same name as Katie's cat, and also, you know, he has a real kid, a four-year-old son. And he asks Katie if she's open to dating someone with a child. Yeah. You know, whether it's someone who already has a child, that's something I'm fine with. If someone doesn't want children, I think I'm also fine with that. Right. And I thought that was a pretty refreshing take not often talked about in the franchise. But with that, the sit-downs are done and it's time for Katie to hand out that first impression rose. Katie grabs the rose, walks away from the guys inside, and heads to the group sitting outside, which includes... Cat Guy Connor. Oh, look at him. He's just so excited to see Katie come over with that rose and... Greg, can I borrow you? Absolutely. I'll bring you inside. Cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now! So Greg sits down with Katie, who tells him that despite the nerves and shyness that he showed, she felt a strong connection with him and hopes that this first impression rose will be the validation that he needs to move forward with confidence. Greg, will you accept this rose? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this. Ooh. Look at that! Awesome. And now that that's been handed out, there's nothing left to do but head on in to the rose ceremony. And as Katie hands out rose after rose to the men, really this one comes down to who's not getting the rose, the guy who brought in the blow-up doll, or the guys who didn't get like any screen time at all. Cody? Blow-up doll guy makes it one more week, meaning RV skin salesman Jeff Gabriel, Austin, Brandon, Landon, Marcus, and Marty Stone Collection are all headed back home, while Katie and the rest of the men toast to a new week and a romantic journey ahead. But alright, before we go and finish this recap, I promised to dish out my top four and final picks for the season, and I base this primarily off the season preview we got and the edits from night one. And my top four thinking is as simple as this. There are really only four guys who are showcased multiple times in the previews in meaningful, valuable shots. The rest are either one-offs or really aren't showcased at all. So my top four are Greg, Andrew S, Justin, and Blake. Now you might be saying, wait, no Connor the cat guy? Well, he's basically vacant from the previews apart from a small section, sort of like Abigail from Matt's season. And it's really just those four that get strong preview presence along with good edits from night one. Now, it's trying to go from that four to a final pick that is incredibly difficult for me. As of right now, what I have is Justin at four, Blake at three, Greg at two, and the final pick, Andrew S. But I can also see any of the other four swapping around to pretty much any spot, except maybe Blake and Greg, who definitely aren't dropping below three. Also, Greg is by far the most showcased of anyone in the previews, which is why I think it's too obvious to put him at number one. Other than that though, how did I end up with that order? Well, we got a juicy season preview to break down, where I'm going to be explaining my thought process tomorrow. And if you're wondering, wait, what? Blake? Yep, Blake from Tasha Season is coming in, and he's all over the season preview, but in very hidden ways. But I'll get into all of that tomorrow. So that's it for night one of Katie's season. Hope you enjoyed the recap, and be sure to give it a like if you did, and subscribe for more. The full season preview breakdown for Katie's season will be out tomorrow, so until then, Bachelor Fantake, out. Oh, I'm a cat. I'm a sexy cat. <laughs> I think he's a genius.